Hello everybody and welcome to episode 12 of the Power World series. And I have a level up. Let me apply that real quick. And in today's episode, I- Oh, the Tombats have actually been collecting ore. Good. That's- that's a first actually. <laughs> they've been at the base for a while, but this is the first time they've actually gone for the ore instead of the normal rocks. The mine thing. The mining site. Whatever. But I got this thing recently, the Pen King. In the previous episode, also I guess this thing? And this? What does this do? Nothing good. This thing. Also nothing good. And this thing. Wow. Okay. This Pen King does everything, basically. Well, it's just a straight upgrade of the normal penguin. It's everything that the penguin does times two plus mining. Understood. Get rid of penguin, put in Pen King. And I'm pretty sure it said that the Pen King... Wait, what does this do? Unstable. Sanity drops faster. Whatever. It's not a good bird. Replace it with a different bird. That bird. But I'm pretty sure that the Pen King was from one of those boss things, and those are restock their supply of pals. Because that's how friends work. You go down an aisle, and somebody restocks them, and you purchase it for $5.99. But I'm pretty sure they restock every day. Every 60 minutes, that is. Let's go ahead and cook up all this ore. Might as well. Speaking of cooking, how are the berries coming along? Another 200 or so? Not bad. I was like, these ones, back to the other base very quickly. Just best to keep it nice and stocked up. At least that's where my mind goes with it. Oh, they've started populating the bottom ranches here. Let's collect all of our goodies from here and the second floor, and then we'll restock their berry supply. You guys understand. You dig things up, I feed you, make sure you don't starve to death, etc, etc. It's a symbiotic relationship. There we go. Wow. Was that 70 Palospheres? Holy crap. I have 87 of those now. Damn. Right, let's put in all the baked berries and keep the normal ones for myself. Because the baked ones are the good ones. Yes. These won't be supplying with anything because I decided to just collect things myself instead of going through the outlet of having one of the pals carry things to the chest for me. They seem to be very slow about it anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and fast travel back. And, well, actually, should we? I think we need wheat seeds, but we gotta figure out how to get those. Might even have to Google to figure that one out. How do wheat seed? Maybe you can get them from chess. You know what, let's try the dungeon. I'm about to fast travel to my own... Oh, nope. I'm at... Never mind. Why is that Tombat up in the sky? Get down from there, mister. <laughs> what are you doing? Who do you think you are? He's very confused. Let me uh, just unassign all the Tombats real quick and reassign them. They get so extensively confused. It's painful to watch them. Well, there we go. Back to work. Except for that one that just dropped and the other one that dropped the logs. Why are you guys doing this? What is wrong with you? Anyways, let's try a dungeon. Down we go. Hooray for the power of parachutes. Down. Down we... Wait, hold on. This cave was definitely open a moment ago. What? Or sorry, not a moment ago. In the prior episodes. What? What the? Is that a bug? I found something in one of the other areas that was like that too. Like a dungeon that wasn't functional. Yeah. Wait a moment. Let's go toward this dungeon in the distance. It's about 200 meters this way. We'll check this one out. And if I can't do anything in this dungeon either, I'm going to assume that I'm bugged. I hope that's not the case, but it might be. Also, I need XP. This bird is weak. Let's take out these lift monks. Should be enough to give them a level or so. I've been noticing that the XP that you get is increasing with the level that I am. So if I'm level 20, the pals seem to get more XP than if I was level 10. Which is very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, up this way we go. Ooh, what is this? Pal soul. No, oh, one of the things used for upgrading. Your pals. I probably won't even use those until I have an extensive amount. Very is this is this the dungeon that doesn't exist right now? So oh oh okay. Wait. Um now I'm inside the dungeon, the door, but, oh no, oh dear. Um, I guess we'll enter it. If we don't, well, we're stuck here forever. That was very interesting, to say the least. What the hell? <laughs> what? Well, let's start off with the weaker deer. Oh, my frame rate. Oh, there it goes again, and again. This dungeon is very bugged. I can feel it in my PC. I don't know what a Kilimari is, but I'm about to have some since I have 80... 80? Palospheres? Many, many Palospheres. 
Okay, that hit three times for no good reason. This dungeon is just a big ol' ill omen, isn't it? Let's catch this thing. 47% should be more than enough. Considering I have 80 of them, might as well consider that 100. And it's mine. Now what else did we have down here? Daydream. Do we have 10 of these yet? Guess we're about to find out. Ooh, almost killed it. 45%? That's pretty good. And... Hey, get your, get your dark balls away from me. Come on, just stay in the sphere. Yeah, there you go. So I do like the fact that catching the pals not only gives you XP as if you had defeated them, but it gives you more XP seemingly than defeating them. I might be wrong about that, but it's still good XP. Um, I apparently can't fit through here because of the handful of pixels that my antlers are touching the top of that K. Okay, that's that fine. I see how it is. <laughs> Let's try again. Maybe through here? Uh-oh, I get the feeling I'm too tall for this one, too. Yes, I am. Just barely. Okay, my deer just attacked nothing behind me, like it do. Blurrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I guess. Ooh, penalty of more. And some other stuff. Something yellow? Well, I'm curious what the yellow is. Sulfur. Now what in the world is that for? Necessary for making gunpowder. Okay. I'll be taking that then. Although I doubt just having access to this one stone is going to be enough. By the time I'm ready to make bullets and gunpowder, I'm probably going to want hundreds, maybe even thousands. The Paldium definitely takes priority. 100%. It's annoying going around collecting this in the open world. So now we undo that nuisance by getting what we can here. Mm -mm -mm. 40 fragments per ore? I really do like that. Dungeons might be the new method for going to look for Paldium. Might. Oh, we have something else here too. Is that coal? Hmm. I got that from the Fuddlers, too. Holy crap, that's heavy. I'll collect it, but again, the Paldium's gonna take priority. I might be wrong about this, but usually these kind of resources are best collected when you actually have the means to mass farm them. Getting a handful most likely won't be enough, just like the stone in the wood. It's usually how it goes. Usually. Oh, the enemies in the previous room respawned. Oops, that was an attack. The Syndicate Thugs did, and so did the Fuddlers. Cool, I guess? Why? Does that mean I could just farm them? Probably. Wouldn't be too bad, these Syndicate Thugs seem to drop gold and pal spheres. Which is not bad. Gotta get my bow out. Catch these Fuddlers. Might be a bug, but I'm gonna take advantage of it while I'm here. Damn, this one's tanky. Come on. I'm getting my balls. 69% nice. Thanks. He stayed in. What a good boy. Uh, what do we have here? Anything to feed to my pals? Apparently my deer is hungry. Consider yourself lucky. I don't have any Aethir deer to feed to you. No cannibalism today. Howdy. Well, that didn't kill you? I was really hoping you would. <laughs> I love their death sounds. I don't know. <laughs> Just... <laughs> 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 what? What in the world? These devs know what's up. <laughs> Some goofy ass noises. They knew the players would just have a hearty chuckle about that. Oh? Uh, what is this? I see a tree. Whoa, hey, that's a, that's a health bar. I guess there's a boss and its name is Fox Parks. I can get a stronger Fox Parks? Alright, don't mind if I do. Here we go, I guess. Start with a smaller one. There's a big one and then a small one. So yeah, we'll take out the smaller one first. Screw it, we'll catch the small one too. Oh, there's more than I thought. Ouch. Hey, you get back in your balls. You and me, we're gonna be friends. Close friends. Oh, I'm taking damage. Am I? Am I taking a lot of damage? Kind of. The is about halfway. Did I catch that other one? I did. Good. Hey, okay, balls. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, we're gonna mount onto the next deer. Here we go. Ouch, ouch, ouch. More balls at this thing. Ouch. And that one's dead. Whoopsie. Hey, we got him. We got the big one. He gave ancient civilization parts too, so he counted as an actual boss. And we caught the other one too. Gloss. It's a lot of leather and flame organs. Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. And we got chess. Ruby. Some kind of armor schematic and a skill. We're teaching the pals moves. Oh, please don't put me inside the dungeon door like prior. I'm not inside. Hooray. <laughs> I'm glad it's not buggy. Anymore, at least. I suppose I'll take a moment to collect these berries. Wait, I kind of recognize this. Isn't this where the weirdo was? Ooh, arrows. Yeah, woo, woo. Yep, okay. Man, you are one freaky looking dude. What you got for sale? What do we have? A veilet. What is a veilet? It appears to be okay at crafting and gathering and planting. It's got a lot of functions, actually. Hmm, wasn't he selling a alpaca last time, too? I don't want to buy your damn alpacas. Incineram knocked. Sounds pretty crazy. But I can't afford any of your crap, so see you later, buddy. Yeah. I'll pop on this blowsicle stand. Well, now we know the dungeons are working. They're just visually, um, impaired. Or I am. Something... <laughs> something is going wrong. It's hard to discern exactly what. What's this? Ooh, an egg. Speaking of which, is it time for a gotcha party? <laughs> are we gonna have a nice little egg-cracking fiesta? 
Wait, what? What's going on here? What's up here? What is hitting what and why? Oh, the boys are actually collecting ore. Holy crap. That is unusual. Suppose I'll set them to cook then. Take some of these goodies, and we're gonna slap them in the furnace. I love it. They're finally doing their actual jobs. Wonderful. Man, my inventory is getting filled with a lot of random crap. I still haven't gotten any wheat seeds, and I don't know where to get them. I'm sure I'll find out eventually, but just not right now. Now, what will it take for me to craft this egg incubator? A little bit of cloth? I can do that, I think. Probably. Maybe. Guess I'm about to find out. Take this lowest tier workbench. Cloth. How many can I make? Seven? I think that's the only purpose that wool serves, so... Yeah. Get to it, lads. Here, Lee's bunk. Do things and stuff. Get the work done. Be good. Good boy. Then, set up more berries to be cooked. Why not? The baked ones are strictly superior to the normal ones, so just get them endlessly. Let's see. Should we? Sure, we'll repair this armor, I guess. Doesn't hurt to repair it. Actually, it does the opposite. It keeps me from getting hurt to repair it. Rush or saddle. Rush. Yeah, why not? I want to have one of every saddle, if possible. Oh, you're done? Good. Now get to crafting that saddle. Go, Simmons. Do your thing. Okay, now that I have that cloth, I should be able to craft. Wait, what was I trying to craft again? <laughs> I already lost track. The egg incubator. You. Over here in this corner. Wait, just wait. Hold on. What are you... Tree. In the dark. <laughs> you think you can just sneak past me? Well, I guess sneaking wouldn't be the best descriptor, considering you were there for, you know, a long-ass time, and I... More or less snuck up on you, but get out of my base. That's what I'm trying to say, basically. Just put the incubator in the corner here, like this. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Oh dear. 50 seconds. Oh, horrendous. It's quite a long time to just be sitting here holding the F key. Just saying. Might have to get me a macro. Just set it to hold F forever. That's what I'm doing. That's what Simmons is doing. Everybody's holding the F key. You know, once this is done, we might end up getting some interesting pals. Or we'll get a bunch of garbage we already have. We'll see. But I've seen people get some really ridiculous things out of these eggs. And we're done. Hooray. Even the egg incubator looks like an egg. Let's go ahead and take out all the eggs. Check our other chest, which is over this way. Ooh, or yummy. Uh, nothing in here either. Oh, okay. That jumped me a little bit. <laughs> It's good that he's working. It just scared the crap out of me. All right, what egg should we do first? How about the large common egg? Sure. It's the heaviest after all. It says 60 minutes. Seems a little cold. Incubation speed minus 0%. What? Hold on. Seems a little cold. So it probably wants fire, right? Heat of some sort. Put a campfire next to it. What about right behind it? Like this. Yeah. Just grab this real quick. So this is going to take an hour, so if we can do anything to speed that up, that'd be great. There's this. Uh, yeah, that went from 59 minutes to 39. Not bad. Still says it seems a little cold. So, hmm. What else could I do? Wasn't there something called a heater down here? I think there was. Let me take a peek. Um, none of it is this. That's for sure. Where, oh, where? Could that heater be? Heat. Heat. No, it's over here. Okay. Um, 20 iron ingots, that's a bit hefty, but the 10 charcoal should be easy enough. If we just cancel the ingots that are being cooked over here, you cancel. Yes. Charcoal. You needed, what, 10, I think? There. 10. Not gonna overdo it. Oh no, I have to wait for my fox parks to wake up. <laughs> Crap. Too bad they don't all function like the tombat and work through the night. They should. Yeah. Throw the Lee's Bonk out in the neutral, because he was stuck there just staring at this stand, even after crafting the saddle already. Goofy. Actually, you know what I could do? Oh, never mind, this Fox Parks is refining, even though it's date, night, nighttime? Nighttime, right? Is the sun coming up or going down? <laughs> I'm getting lost. Yes, I understand, Dombat. Ah, oh, sun's coming up. Oopsie. <laughs> I'm not good at keeping track of time or space. Directionally challenged, and I rarely know what day it is. Hey, could you cook this charcoal a little faster? I'd appreciate it. It would be nice if I could assign multiple of them, but I've tried. It's just one fire-breathing thing at a time, which is too bad. Well, that'll probably have to wait for the next episode. This has been episode 12 of the Bow World series. Wow, wait, look at that flashing.
<laughs> Lee's bunk is going crazy. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.